Right guys, I've been asked to have a look at a Worcester Bosch. I'm gonna go down later on today. And <clears throat> uh, they've sent me a little film. It's leaking on the left hand side as you're looking at it. And uh, us, obviously you guys know what that is. We all been doing that. I saw common fault on these Worcesters, the flow manifold. So I'm gonna take that with me and we're gonna, we're gonna diagnose it. Maybe it's something else, but I think 90% of the time it's the flow, uh, flow manifold. So I'm gonna take that with me and I'll be sharing that with you with you in this film. If you do like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, it's a common fault, don't you? <clears throat> right, guys, Worcester Bosch leak, leaking on the left hand side, and that can only be one thing, and one thing only, which is a flow manifold. So, we are luckily at bottom of flow manifold with me. And there it is, the common left hand Worcester Bosch leak. I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to Worcester Bosch for all these common faults. Flow manifold leaking, return manifold leaking, and finally, domestic hot water turbine adapter leaking. So, thank you Worcester Bosch for all these jobs that we have to do. If you think I've missed something out, let me know in the comment box. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, I've drained the system down, I've got the old one out, and I've got the new one ready to put in. Guys, if you got a broken down boiler, don't worry, we can repair it for you. We repair all your favorite boilers from Baxi, Biasi, Worcester, Bosch, Valent, and many more. Domestic or commercial. We cover Birmingham, South Birmingham, and Solihull too. 80% of the repairs are completed on the same day. And if you don't have a part with me, we'll try and get it for you the next day. And most importantly, we're very cheap. So don't suffer in cold, give us a call today. Now, back to the serious business. I've got the manifold in. Uh, and if you check right, I've got the bypass uh, fitted in. I then tried to connect the 22 mil flow copper pipe to the manifold, but I was finding that difficult. I was struggling with that. So I took it all back out again, <coughs> and I uh, put the 22 mil in first, and then put the manifold in, and that was much easier. Now I put the manifold in, in an angle, and I then connected the bypass to it, and clipped it all in. That was much easier, and then after that, everything else was a lot easier. Now, just a little tip, uh, when you put the thermistor in, always clip it in, because don't come back to it. And if you do decide to come back to it and you forget, you're going to have a nice cold shower. I know, I've been there. Right guys, this is just a short video on this flow manifold and I'm sure I've made so many videos on it before. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and anyway, I've got all the pipes connected now. The most difficult pipe to connect is the bypass and the 22mm flow copper pipe. Once, you, uh, once you've got them in, the rest of it is easy, just all screw in, clip in, that's it. Right, I've pressurized the system, it's all good, it's not leaking, that's it, I've got the power on, the boiler's fired up and that's working fine now. Right guys, just done that return manifold, it was a good interesting job, it was uh, a bit easier than, well sometimes it can get complicated, but this time I've got a sequence because last time I got stuck on the uh, bypass pipe, the copper pipe, the bypass one. But I think it wasn't the bypass that was a problem. The boiler was really low and it was in an awkward position and I was struggling with that. But other than that, um, this time, because of that, this time I thought, no, I'm going to have a sequence to this. So the sequence is, right, when you got the old manifold out, put the new one, before you put the new one, you know, the copper pipe for the flow, 22 mil, put that in first, new rubber, obviously, put that in first, clip it in, and then just turn it. Then what you do is get the return manifold, put it in, and at an angle, Put the copper pipe in for the uh, bypass. Put that in, clip it in, and then you put it back into the position. And then you could do your plate heat exchanger, uh, then screw it in to the to the to the main body of the burn boiler, and then do the uh, once you screw uh, done the the plate heat exchanger. Make sure you put the rubbers in, new rubbers, you know, and then you do the domestic hot water copper pipe 
then you put that in. I think that's my sequence, and I'm gonna let, I will, I'm gonna stick with that. Hopefully, uh, if you got a better sequence, let me know in the comment box. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.